Hello, good evening, class. Hello, guys. Hi, Benjamin. Hello, Edgar. Hello, Roberto, Edgar, Benjamin. Welcome, guys. Hi, teacher. How you doing? Good. And you? I'm here, you know. I'm here again. Resting. Are you on holidays? Um, yeah, um, maybe not yet. <laughs> I need, <laughs> need to work for, for the next week. No. Really? Are you going to work this week? Yeah, I need to work because you know I, my I work in at the restaurant. Mm, okay. So mm, yeah. That's so, so you're that's gonna have a full house, I guess. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Uh -huh. so, I, yeah, well, that's great. I, I, <laughs> I will think be busy. so. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna yeah. be really busy. So you know, yeah. it's it's good because you won't have classes <laughs> until next week. Yeah, yeah. You're that's gonna right. work the extra mile. Yes. The extra mile, but uh, in the future, uh, I don't know how to say. Voy a ver los frutos, you know. Yeah, you're gonna see some good things. Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So all efforts bring some good things, some sweet fruits, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. Yeah, definitely. So believe yeah. it. So believe yeah. it. We work for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe that's why I, I try to learn English because I need to get a better job or in the future, maybe I'm going to get another job. Uh, so I'm going to make uh, extra money. And, you know, that's why yeah. I'm here too. <laughs> yeah, but you know, that's good because you see some uh, possible things. So you're thinking about what's going to, going to happen next. So that's great. So you have vision. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we all must have that. Yeah, I hope so. Mm -hmm. so. But nice, nice, uh, nice talking with you, Roberto. It's really yeah. good. Okay. Um, yeah, teacher. Okay, let's see. Um, hi, Marlene Barahona. Hello, Marlene. Hello, Wendy. Uh, activate your microphones. You're hi, mute. Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How's the weather like yeah. today? It's hot, it's cold. It's hot, but it's raining. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is that crazy? Yeah, it's crazy, I know. Let's see. Um, Wendy, welcome, Wendy. And let's see who else do we have here. Maria Santos. Hello, Maria. Maria Santos, let me see who else is here. Elisa, hi, Elisa. Elisa Areli. Good evening, it's That's a beautiful name, because that's my name, Areli. 
<laughs> okay, let's see who else is here. Um, Oscar Santana, hello, Oscar. Neftali, hello. Hello. Hello, hello everyone. Are, are you working, Neftali? No, no, not yet. Not yet, okay. I think I, I just finished my job, so. You're finishing. Oh. That's great. Let's see, Selma, hello, Selma, welcome. Hello, Sana, Elisa, hello, Sara. Let me see, Oscar. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Okay, thanks, Oscar. Nice. Thanks a lot. Okay, so guys, we're gonna start with a uh, conversation. Um, and in today's lesson, we're gonna be learning some nice things. So I hope you have fun. And we're gonna start with this uh conversation. Uh, let me know if you can see that. Yes. Yes. Okay. So we have a conversation between Rachel and Stacy. Look at this. Uh, so this is Rachel, right? <laughs> Stacy. So how do you get into modeling? So what do you know about get into? So what do we mean by get into, guys? Get into. Any idea? What's get into? For example, I'm into, let's see, I'm into um, English, for example. I'm into soccer. I'm into basketball. I'm into, let's see, um, anything that you like, right? So what do you think? Get into. So it means interested, right? So for example, I was mentioning an example. I'm into... I'm into pop music, for example. What are you into, Marlene? What are you into? I am into... Dance. Dancing. <laughs> Dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Math. Okay, dancing, yeah, I will be, yes. That's great. Wendy, what are you into? I am into the meeting. Um, okay, so into, look at this, interested. So something that you like, like a hobby, something that you're interested in. I'm into, let's say. Mm, reading. Ah, oh, okay. You're into reading? Yes. Oh, okay, that's great. And you know that's great because you can improve your um vocabulary, right? Reading books. Okay, great. Uh Karen, let's see, Karen, are you here? Karen, you're driving, I guess. Yes, she's kind of busy. Elisa, what are you into? I'm into listening to music. Listening to music, yes. What kind of music do you like? Pop, reggaeton? Electronic. electronic music that's one of my favorite okay so do you have any favorite song no any favorite song any electronic uh favorite song so you need to think about it okay let's see uh benjamin benjamin are you here benjamin mm -hmm. okay well, that's the meaning for into, guys, uh, interested in something. So look at this. How do you get into modeling, Stacy? Well, when I graduated from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles to look for work as an actress. I was going to the auditions every day, but I never got any parts. And I was running out of money. So what's run out of money? Run out of money? Any idea? So have you ever run out of money? So it means no money. So you, I don't know, so you spend the hard money uh, buying some clothes, shoes, and so everything, right? So anything probably that you don't need or maybe you need. So run out of money. So that's the meaning, no money. Okay, or um, let's say just a few bucks, right? 
Let's see. Um, so what do you do? I got a job as a waitress uh, in a seafood restaurant. While I was working there, a customer offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. Wow, that's uh, what a lucky break, right? Okay, so we're going to be practicing this conversation. Let's see, I need to volunteer. So I'm going to be picking some of you. Uh, for example, maybe um, Elisa and Giselle. Elisa, Giselle, so could you please uh, read the conversation? I am Rita. Okay, I'm just waiting for Giselle confirmation. Giselle? Activate your microphone, Giselle, or let us know if you're uh, not at home yet, okay? Giselle? How are you waiting for modeling dating? See, waiting for Giselle. Hello, Giselle Hernandez. So where is Giselle? Okay, anybody else? Maybe, uh, let's see, Karen, Karen, go ahead, Karen. Answer, please, you're Stacy. <laughs> Teacher, I have a problem. In this moment, I received the class in the cell phone. I ah, don't okay. see the, the letter. Mm, okay. Okay, got it. No problem. Let's see. Um, how about, let me see. Maria Santos. Maria Santos. Hello, Maria Santos. So let's practice, guys. Maria Santos, what are you? Leave us a message, okay? So you need to confirm. Oh, okay, it's raining. Um, let's see. Marlene, please. Marlene, be my guest, please. Okay. I am retired or Stacy. Stacy. Okay. Well, when I graduate from drama. Mm -hmm. Well, when I graduate from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles to look for work as an actress. I, wa I was going to auditions every day, but I never got any parts, and I was running out of money. So what did you do? I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. While I was working there, a customer offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. Wow, what's a lucky break? Mm -hmm. Lucky, lucky break. Lucky break. Lucky break. And uh, let's see, uh, you graduated, 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 graduated. Okay, let's see. Um, I need two more. Uh, let's see. Um, Nathalie. Hello, Nathalie. You here? Or are you a listener? Nathalie. Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Okay. Perfect, Nathalie. Thanks. And yeah, let's see, uh, how about you, um, Roberto, Roberto, please, you may guess, you're next. Okay, uh, I am okay. Richard. Okay. Okay, so uh, how did you get into model, into modeling, Stacy? Well, when I graduated from drama school, I moved to, to Los Angeles for to look for a work as an actress. I was going to auditions every day, but I never got any parts and I was running running out of money. So what did you do? I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. While I was working there, a customer offered offer me some work as model. Within a few weeks, I was modeling full time. Wow, that's that's a lucky break. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks a lot, guys. Sara, please. Sara and Selma. Okay. Um, how do you get into modeling, Daisy? Selma, you here? Oh, okay. Well. Well, when I grad, grad, graduated from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles to look for work as an stress 
and I was going to solution every day, but never got any part. And I was running out of money. So what do you what do you do? I got a job as a waitress in a self food restaurant while I was working there a customer offered me some work as a model while a few weeks I was modeling full time. Wow, what a lucky break. Mm -hmm. Guys, what's a lucky break? Any idea? Uh huh. Yes. It's For example, imagine that you play the lottery and uh, you have the lucky break. <laughs> it's like a buena suerte. Uh huh. So it's like a hit, right? Uh, un golpe, un golpe buena suerte. Yeah, probably that's your day, and you're gonna be a millionaire, so you don't have to think about any uh, any situation, any problem anymore. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see, um, Wendy, uh, well, Jenny, and let me see who else, Michelle. Okay. How, how did you get into modeling, Stacy? Let's see, volunteer who hasn't participated yet, anybody? Activate your microphone or any any of you guys. Me oh, teacher. Wendy, go ahead. Okay. Well, when I graduated from drama school, I moved to Los Angeles to look for, for work as an actress. I was going to audition every day, but I never got any parts. And I was running out of money. So what did you do? I got a job as a waitress in a shoe seafood restaurant while I was working there and customer offered offered me some work as a model. Within a few weeks I was modeling full time. Wow, what a lucky break. A mm -hmm. lucky break. Lucky, lucky break. Okay, so we're gonna be checking some words on the past tense. Graduated, graduated. Listen, graduated, graduated. Well, when I graduated from drama school, I moved. Okay, moved, moved. D moved. I moved to Los Angeles to look for work as an actress. I was going to auditions every day, but I never got any parts. So she got nothing, right? I was running out of money, okay? Running out of, okay, out of money. Remember of, okay, running out of money, out of money, uh, out of money. So in here you have a consonant, in here you have a vowel. So you can join that two sounds, out of money. So I run, uh, I was running out of money. So what do you do? I got a job as a waitress in a seafood restaurant. While I was working there, a customer offered uh, me some work as a model within within okay within a few weeks I was modeling full time wow what a lucky break okay so we uh wish right so to have that lucky break one day <laughs> I do <laughs> so I hope you do too <laughs> Let's see. So we're going to be checking something important in today's lesson. We're going to be checking at uh, this grammar point. This is a uh, past continuous versus simple past. Okay. But first, um, well, I'm going to show you some uh, things about the pronunciation for the verbs in the past tense, because I know this is uh, kind of uh, difficult for us to pronounce. Well, since we're not native speakers, of course. Um, look at this. This is a class objective. Uh, let's see, Roberto, could you help us, please? Read the class objective. Okay. Uh, by the end of the class, you will be able mm -hmm. to use the past continuum and simple past to express an action which was in the progress in the past. And God interrupted 
by it's another interrupted mm -hmm. by another complete action okay perfect so before doing so um sorry about the graphics but that this is what i uh, got so i think that's the best i get <laughs> maybe another time i'm gonna show you a better one <laughs> okay look at this uh we're gonna be checking um why this because this is important for you to learn how to pronounce the verbs in the past tense well this in this case the verbs are uh, regular verbs right uh, as you know, regular verbs, uh, the final endings for these verbs is ed, right? But they have a different pronunciation depending on the final letter that you, uh, well, the, the depending on the final letter that this uh, verb uh, have, okay? For example, we have t sound, we have a d sound, and we have a ed sound for for regular verbs for this ed okay so it can be t it can be d or it can be it and look at this um the first parts we have verbs that end with a voiceless sound what is a voiceless sound any idea voiceless sound what is that que sería un sonido no sonoro what is that any idea <laughs> so i gave you the answer already any idea? Let's see. Any idea? No? Or leave a leave a uh, leave a message through the chat. No? Okay. So we're gonna be checking that. A voiceless sounds is a is a sound which doesn't produce any uh, vibration when you uh, pronounce that uh, verb. For example, we have verbs ending in p, k, s, c, h. S H F X or H. So in this case, the ED is pronounced as T. Okay. So it means uh, you don't have to add an extra syllable sound. For example, asked. Look at the final uh, final ending. When we talk about the final ending, we talk about the final ending of the base form. Okay, for example, ask. Okay, uh, another one, uh, for example, would be a brush. So let's test that. Brush, brush, listen, shh. So that's the sound for SH. Look at this, shh. So if you touch your uh, throat, so you will feel that there is no any vibration when you pronounce that sound. Shh. Okay, for example, look at the verb and the past tense, these. E, this e, uh, ED becomes T, okay? Brushed, 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 okay? Brushed. Uh, another example could be, uh, let's see, uh, okay, the verb dance. Okay, dance. Look at the final ending sound. Uh, question, what is the final sound for this verb? ¿Cuál sería el sonido final de ese verbo bailar? Dance. 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 Es una S, ¿verdad? Es una S. Ok, en escritura hay una E, pero en el sonido es una S. So what we're um, checking here is the voiceless sound at the end of the infinitive form. So it means S becomes T. Look at this, and here you have that uh, S in the in the verb, right? Um, okay. Uh, let's see. So, how will you pronounce uh, the past form? Danced, 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 danced. Okay. Let's see another example. Uh, maybe. Um, okay. Okay. Drop. Mm, yeah. Let's see. drop. So drop, uh, let's pronounce the P, okay? So how will you pronounce uh, the sound? Drop. Ah, okay, nice. Uh, the P sound, something like this. Uh -huh. So if, if you uh, try testing that, so you will feel that there is no any vibration when you touch your uh, throat, okay? 
Entonces, lo que ustedes observan es que no hay ninguna vibración, las cuerdas vocales no reflejan ninguna vibración. Quiere decir que es un sonido no sonoro, es a voiceless sound. So, it means that in the past tense, in the past tense, it will sound as T, right? Dropped. 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 And don't forget when that when you have a one syllable, let's say verb, so you have to double the last uh, consonant and then you add ed, right? Okay. So that's when you have a one syllable a verb. Dropped. Dropped. So that's not really difficult. So what you need to know is um, these sounds. So you have to uh, get along with them, right? And get and know them. Okay, another example, let's see, uh, letter X. So we have the verb fix, fix. Okay, so can you make this sound? Can you make that sound? Somebody, I don't know anymore, okay. <laughs> X, right, X. So if you try again, there is not any vibration, right? X, X, okay. So it means, so that it becomes T, right? Something like this, fixed, fixed, fixed. Okay, nice. So now we continue with the second part. So the second part is this one, D sounds. So this is the opposite, verbs that end with a voiced sound. For example, L, V, uh, okay, M, R, V, ah, okay, we have V again, uh, G, that's G, and W, Y, or Z. So it means that, and vowel sounds. So this ED is pronounced as D, for example. Let's check this word aloud. Okay. Okay. A load, a load. Another verb could be the verb killed, okay? So can you make this sound? L sound? So what is the sound? So can you make it? How do you pronounce that? L, right? L, 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 L. Yeah. L. Okay, so I need you to uh, try to practice this. Okay, so touch your um, throat. Okay, so place your hand over here and then you uh, pronounce that, that, that letter, L, L. Okay, so you will feel that there is a vibration, right? Entonces, ustedes hacen la prueba, van a sentir que sí hay un, eh, emite una vibración. Entonces, cuando son sonidos voice o sonoros, el verbo, ese ed en pasado, se va a sonar como una d. Ok. Uh, let's see, another example. Maybe the word, uh, ok, the word clean. Clean. How do you pronounce the letter n? Ok, so let's try again. N, n. Y ahí se queda bien marcadito el sonido. N. Ah, yes. In, the, in the verb n. How do you pronounce enter, 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 I don't know. Enter. Enter, I see. Where is it? Where is in. it? Is it here? Yes. Ah, yes. We enter. did. Entered. Entered. Uh-huh. Entered. So look at this. Uh, you have a, an R, right? R sound. R. R. Entonces, hagan la prueba, hagan la prueba para que ustedes vean que el sonido final del verbo enter es un sonido sonoro. Entonces, va a emitir una vibración acá. Enter, R, R. Entonces, cuando tengo un sonido así, el E de en pasado va a sonar como una D. ¿Ok? Entered. So, this sound, entered, entered. Okay, let's check another one. Um, let's see how about okay, the verb described, described, described. Okay, realized, realized. Okay, 
Um, well, uh, well, in my case, I exaggerate the sound, right? Because uh, I need to learn that. Realized. Okay. Another one about enjoyed. Enjoyed. So this is that D sound. Enjoyed. Okay. Okay. And look at this. The verb close. 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 Listen. Close. So this is the this is the base form, right? Close, close. What is the final um? What is the final sound of this verb? Close. Can you notice that? Can you notice that there is a z? Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. So you don't say close. So you say close, close. Close. Okay. So hence you're gonna pronounce that as. Okay, closed, closed, okay, that's not T, it's T, okay, closed, closed, okay, let's see, questions about it, guys, questions about it, hmm, okay, so we have another one, this is uh, some, sometimes uh, mispronounced, just, 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 and let's see, uh, happened, happened, okay, it happened yesterday, happened, okay, so, but remember that in this case, you have to practice uh, these verbs, so as much as possible, so it's uh, really needed, okay, so you're gonna uh, learn how to pronounce these verbs correctly, and Finally, we have uh, verbs ending in ed, but pronounced as id, it. And this is really easy. So whenever you have a verb ending in t or d, t or d, so you're gonna pronounce that as id, right? Id. For example, accepted, accepted, attended, collected, Counted, decided, defended, demanded, divided, expected, exported, floated, graduated, it, hated, hated, hunted, included, invited. So you can practice with this list, okay? So you're gonna see how, how, how you improve. Knitted, painted, planted, printed, pretended, protected. Okay, so now we're gonna pronounce these verbs uh, once and then we'll, we will continue with our class. Okay, any questions so far? Teacher, uh... Paul, you send these verbs in the WhatsApp chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. You can Please. also take a, take Thanks. a picture. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm going to send it. Don't worry. Okay, realized. Realized. So what you need to know is how to make this uh, D sound. Listen. Let's see. Lived. Loved. 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 And this one, asked. Se escucha el sonido, es un poquito más claro el sonido de la T, ahí. Cracked. Acá. Danced. Skate. Finished. Okay. Fixed. Guessed. But, uh, well, exaggerating, yes, you could, um, well, as, uh, as much as you repeat it. Uh, you you will you will uh try to imitate the yeah yeah you will be close okay you will be really close to the sound okay so but we need to practice this a lot okay so let's see let's do it again asked so listen and repeat that with me okay so it's not necessary so you can stay on mute Rocky asked ask 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 baked bake Brushed, 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 cooked, brushed. cooked, 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 cracked, cracked, crushed, 
crushed, crushed. crushed. Danced. danced, danced, dressed, dressed, dressed. dropped, dropped, dropped. escaped, finished, finished, fixed, guest, guest, guest. Uh -huh. yes. So you have to make an extra effort to pronounce the T, okay? Guest. Yes. Guest. 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 Uh -huh. Guest. That's better. Guest. Helped. 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 Jumped. 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 Knocked. 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 Kissed. 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 Locked. 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 Looked. 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 Missed. 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 Mixed. 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 Packed. 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 Passed. 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 Picked. 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 Impressed. Pushed. 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 Relaxed. Relaxed. Slipped. 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 Smoked. 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 Stopped. 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 Shopped. 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 Oh, okay. No L. Walked. 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 Uh -huh. Like when you say, let's go to China, walk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh -huh. Walked. 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 Okay. Washed. 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 Mm -hmm. Listen. Washed. 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 Okay, worked. 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 Okay, worked. 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 Okay, and now we continue with the second column. This is with the uh, sounds. A grid. 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 A to miss any class, okay? Answered, 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 answered appeared, 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 arrived, arrived, arrived believed, 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 born, born, born. born. Okay, it has another past tense with T, okay? Born. Esto born. tiene otra forma también born. de vivir en el pasado, igual que learn. Okay, cold, cold, cold. carrot, carrot, changed, changed, cleaned, cleaned, closed, closed, right, 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 died, died, enjoyed, enjoyed. Uh -huh. See, it's it's like an E, but it's short E. Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh -huh. Not E. Enjoy. It's Enjoyed. short. Enjoy. 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 Entered. 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 Filled. 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 Followed. 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 Happened. 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 Jailed. 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 Killed. 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 Listened. Listen. Listen. Lived. Lived. I lived in uh, San, let's say, San Jones. <laughs> I don't know where that is. <laughs> Loved. 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 Opened. Opened. Planned. Planned. Late. Late. Performed. 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 Pulled, pulled, realized, realized, rained, 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 
Say, shirt, 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 What's yont? I don't know. What is the meaning of yont? What's the sound? That's yont. Oh. Okay. Uh, and now we continue with the easy ones. Accepted. 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 Attended. 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 Arrested. 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 Collected. 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 Contacted. 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 Counted. So, uh, decided, 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 defended, defended, defended demanded, 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 okay, divided, divided, divided expanded, 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 expected, expected, exported, exported, loaded, 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 okay, graduated. 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 Yeah. Hated. 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 Or hated. So remember that this depends on where you where depending on the region, right? Uh hunted. Hunted. Included. Included. Invited. Invited. Invented. Invented. Landed. 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 Okay. So what's landed? Aterrizar. Yes. Aterrizó. Okay. Mm -hmm. Needed. 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 Painted. 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 Planted. Planted. Printed. Printed. Retended. Retended. Protected. Protected. Provided. Provided, granted, granted, repeated, repeated, reported, reported, respected, respected. So you are respected. Rested, rested, rested. scolded, scolded. What's the meaning for scold? Scolded. I don't know. Scold. What's that? Scold. Oh, it's oh, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. imagine when your mom's angry because you haven't washed the dishes. She's going to scold you. Regaño. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Skated. Skated. Started. 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 Shouted. 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 Treated. Treated. Visited. 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 Wanted. 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 Wasted. 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 So I Wasted. suggest you to uh, practice these um these verbs with well considering this right T D and E and then you check the the sounds right so here you have the letters uh so it, this is just a matter of practice until you master that okay. Nice. So now let's continue. We have some more um, things to share. And wow, time flies. Uh, we're going to be checking simple past versus past continuous. So let's see what this is about. So we're going to be combining two actions, uh, one in the past continuous form and the other one in a past tense. We're going to use when. Okay, to talk about an action that interrupted another action. For example, look at this. I was walking, we have a past continuous sentence, when he shouted at me. So what were you doing? I was walking when he shouted at me. So what happened in here? This action interrupted something that I was doing previously or something that was in progress when I was, uh, uh, let's say, walking, somebody shouted at me, okay? 
Let's see another example. She was folding the papers when, when she cut her finger. In this case, uh, you're going to notice something. The when uh, clause or sentence has uh, the verb in the past tense. So it's followed by a past tense sentence. When he shouted at me. When she cut her finger. Cuando ella me gritó. Yo estaba caminando. Yo estaba doblando. Ella estaba doblando los papeles. ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo? Cortó se su dedo. Se hirió. Se, se, se cortó. Okay. When she cut. So the when clause has the sentence in the past tense. Okay. In this case. Another example. They were washing the car when. When. What happened? What interrupted uh, the action of washing the car? The car jumped. Uh-uh. Uh, Salto sobre... Salto sobre... Salto sobre... Eh... Sobre, el carro. sobre el carro. Okay, when the jump, when the cat jumped on it. Jump. When the doorbell rang, what happened? We were watching a horror movie. movie. Mm -hmm. We were watching a horror movie. So it means that the order of these sentences doesn't alter the meaning of your sentence. So you can place the when sentence at the beginning or the past uh, sentence at the beginning, and then you place the past continuous sentence. And the meaning is the same, okay? But you have to place what? ¿Qué tenemos que ubicar en este caso? Cuando hacemos esa modificación. What is this? ¿Cómo se dice coma? Coma, a coma. A coma. A coma. coma, yes. So you have to place a coma in the middle. Entonces, cuando inician acá su cláusula con when, aquí vamos a ubicar una coma, y luego la past continuous sentence. When the doorbell rang, we were watching a horror movie. And the meaning is definitely the same. Yes, the same. Let's see another example. When she fell... Her husband was holding their baby. Okay. Cuando ella se cayó, él que está, ella que estaba haciendo, su esposo, perdón. Cargando el bebé. Ajá, uh -huh. holding their baby. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. And look at this. Uh, it's the same. Their husband was holding their baby when she fell. So what we can... Uh, mention about it is that you're gonna use the past tense with the when clause right when she cut her finger when the cat jumped on it when she fell when he shouted at me okay let's see so now you try to give one example try to create one example using any any word try to create one example one example guys so we're running out of time. One example. So you have one minute. Think about it. Think about it. I don't know. Uh, Jose, you're ready? <laughs> <laughs> I don't ready. I'm not ready. Okay. Yeah. So think about your sentence. Remember, one sentence in a continuous tense and the other one in simple past. Joined by when. Okay. I was walking when he shouted at me. I was sleeping when the teacher called me. And she asked me, do your homework. Okay. <laughs> I was, let's see. Uh, I was. Um, I want. Uh-huh. When I to go in my car, cross a uh, dock. Okay. I was driving my car. Okay. When. When the dog crossed, crossed. Uh -huh. yes. crossed. Mm -hmm. remember, past continuous, past tense. Another example. Anybody else? Who's ready? Sure, I have one, but I, okay. I'm not sure. Tell when me. I was in the class, my baby one 
or we want to go to the bathroom. I don't know if correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have a nice question. We want. Mm. Yes, yeah, that's okay. Can you repeat it so I can write it again? Okay. When I was in the class, Okay. My my baby one one two my one, two, mm -hmm. go to the bathroom. Okay, this way. This way? Is this what you okay. thought about? I don't know. Uh-huh. Yes. yes, I know. These two sentences are in past. When mm -hmm. I was in class, uh, my baby wanted to go to the bathroom. Okay. But in this case, uh, remember that want. Okay. So I cannot say my baby was a wanting. Something like this. Were you thinking about something like this? No. 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 Okay. Yeah, but this is okay. Because want is a stated verb. So you have to use a past tense or a present tense. Want, wanted. No ing in this case. Okay. Let's see. Anybody else? Example. So try mm. to give me an example of a of an interrupted uh, of an action uh, which interrupts another one. Deme un ejemplo. Um. Algo interrumpa algo más. Uh -huh. I usually use my cell phone when I take my lunch. Okay, now in the past tense. For example, I was eating lunch. I was eating lunch. When? When I use my cell phone. Okay. When I use my cell phone or when somebody called me. Okay, another example, better, okay. I was drinking chocolate, my favorite drink, beverage, when when it okay. when it born my tongue. Leave your um leave your examples through the chat, okay? So write your examples through the chat. Um, I, I was eating lunch when I read my cell phone or when I see myself. Can you repeat it again? <coughs> um I was eating my lunch mm -hmm. when I when I was seeing the ver seeing, when I saw when I saw my cell phone. Okay. When I saw somebody, I will say. Remember, we need two sentences. One in a continuous, a past continuous, and the other one in past tense. Like this. I was working when he shouted at me. <clears throat> Let's see, Selma. Okay. Sana. Okay, excellent, Sana. <clears throat> nice, Jose. Thank you. Okay. So remember something important. In here, we need some uh, something like this. You need a past continuous tense. I was plus ing verb. For example, I was uh, thinking. I was thinking, I was driving, I was uh, singing. I was, uh, let's see, running. 
Eating. I'm running, eating lunch. Okay. I was uh, running, you said, right? I was running. Swimming. I was swimming, okay. Dancing. I was dancing, yes. I was dancing. Writing. Writing. I was okay. Driving, you said? Writing, the right, the escribir, right. Mm. Mm -hmm. Writing. Writing, I was writing. When something else happened. Okay, acá ya tenemos nuestra oración en, en pasado continuo. Ahora, quiero decir que algo interrumpió esta, esto, esto que estaba pasando, esto que estaba en progreso. I was thinking about my uh, homework, okay, when, when the doorbell, when she came, cuando ella, vino, vino, okay, so now we need a sentences in the past tense, entonces recuerden, Acá algo interrumpió a algo más, que está algo que ya estaba haciendo. Yo estaba pensando sobre, eh, en mi tarea cuando ella vino. Me interrumpió. So I was thinking about my homework. I was driving when my mom called. Uh -huh. um, I was singing when, when my brother my brother called, called me. Me. Okay. I was eating lunch when my boss uh, mm -hmm. come. How? <laughs> come. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I don't, I don't think that you <laughs> My oh. boss called. Okay. Mm -hmm. I was running mm -hmm. when. Tropecé. ¿Cómo se dice tropecé? I... Mm, I, I, fall. Mm. I fell. Mm. I fell off. I fell off. Uh -huh. I fell off. I fell off. I was swimming when? Trae, trae the algo. sharks come with. Come. <laughs> when I do blue. <laughs> okay, le hablo del más allá. <laughs> when I. When I. During drop water. When I saw a shark, for example. <laughs> when I. Uh, I was dancing when. El chicle se me pegó. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was dancing when? I was... My husband interrupted. When? <laughs> My husband interrupted me. Okay. Yes. My husband. I was writing a poem. <laughs> when, when? My pencil my, when my pencil will broke. 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 My pencil broke. My pencil broke. Okay. I was writing. Writing. Mm -hmm. A poem. When my pencil. Mm -hmm. Look at this. I was driving my car when I crashed. Crashed. Iba manejando mi carro. Cuando? Cuando. De repente. Boom. I crashed. When okay. I crashed. And we have another a word that we're going to be using. This is while. Okay. While, okay, and it's going to be followed by um, past continuous. While I was washing the dishes, what happened? Any idea? Well, 
Okay. While I was washing the dishes, I heard a noise. Okay. Mientras yo estaba lavando los platos, escuché un ruido. Un ruido. Mm -hmm. My teacher. Todos learned... los platos que abro, teacher. My teacher was learning the class when uh, when when Karen interrupted by. <laughs> Assistencia. <laughs> oh yes. I was teaching the class when somebody interrupted me. Where is the where is the the question? Mm. Uh, well, while can represent the same meaning as uh, for an interrupted action. Puede representar lo mismo, una acción que interrumpió a otra. Y estaba hablando no, de los okay. cuando escuché un, un ruido, pero además de eso uh -huh. pueden ser acciones simultáneas. While I was uh, drinking, uh, no, that's it. While I was uh, washing the dishes again, washing the dishes. Perhaps, for example, teacher, eh, usted está dando la clase y se le interrumpe para para que tome la asistencia, por por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. eh, my teacher, learned, my teacher was learning the class when when I. When I interrupt to the, to the class. Interrupted. Ajá, esa sería una acción que interrumpió a otra. Y Ajá. en este caso, while I was uh, washing the dishes, the I heard Different no, ideas. Esto, este, puede ser igual que este. Deben tener el mismo significado. Este, algo interrumpió a otra cosa que ella estaba haciendo. Y este otro, <coughs> mientras yo estaba lavando los platos, también, ¿qué más hacía? No importa si son Escuchaba diferentes música. ideas. Escuchaba música. Por ejemplo. Uh -huh. No hay problema si son diferentes ideas. Ah, no, porque recuerde que en esta primera es parecida a la de arriba. Algo uh -huh. interrumpió algo que yo ya estaba haciendo. Uh -huh. sí, uh -huh. Entonces en la oración que yo le puse está mala. ¿Cuál? La de when I was in the class, porque no, no, se ocup, no ocupé el, el ING. Ajá, porque como aquí estamos hablando de una acción que interrumpió a otra. Tendría que cambiarla toda por, para poder uh -huh. poner el ING. Seguir, seguir la estructura esta. Ajá, ok. Y también el while lo podemos utilizar para hablar de uh, acciones que estaban sucediendo simultáneamente. Mientras yo estaba lavando los platos, también estaba escuchando música. Mientras. Okay, so we're going to stop in here. I'm going to pass the attendance list in. Um, well, I really, uh, well, I would like to continue with it, but we have another class. Okay. Let me see. So I'm going to be sending you the PPT and with uh, some examples so you can check that again. Okay. Let's see. Okay, Benjamin Alejandro Quijada Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Edgar Fernando Portillo Cabrera. Elisa Arely Lopez Campos. Present teacher. Thank you. Giselle Marie Hernandez Torres. <clears throat> Giselle. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. José Lina Alvarenga Gómez. Present. Thank you. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Velar. Present teacher. Thanks. Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzmán. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, María Santos López López. Marlene Elizabeth Valle. She said say present in the shop. Okay, thanks. María. Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Present teacher. Thanks, Marlene. Michelle Beatriz Díaz Guzmán. Present teacher. Thanks. Neftali Antonio Mejía. Present teacher. Thanks. Oscar Alexander Santana. <coughs> Present teacher. Thanks, Oscar. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Uh, Present teacher. Thanks, Sara Elisa Belloso. Present. Thanks, Sara. Selma Yamilet Peña. Present. Thank you, Selma. Wendy Cecilia Molina. Present. 
Thanks. Uh, Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. Present teacher. Okay. Well, that's all for today, guys. Uh, I hope you have liked the class. Then I'll see you in our next class. So it's going to be after vacation. So have great holidays. Okay. <laughs> bye bye. Uh, please uh, let me know if you have any question about some activities. Okay. So you can leave me a message. Okay. So you can text me. Okay. So I'll be uh, checking them. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, have a so good bye, night. guys. Thank you. Have a nice night, teacher. God bless you. Have a nice night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.